We all know that the weather can be unpredictable, so why not do a DIY project that will help water your garden during those dry spells? Today I'm going to make a rain harvesting bin, and it's super easy. The materials and tools that you'll need for this water-wise DIY project are a large bin, I've cut pallet pieces of wood, a jigsaw, a power drill, short and long wood screws, driver bits, spade bit, a back nut, washers, a tap, scissors, silicone sealant, insect screen net, and waterproof duct tape. The first step is to create a base and stand for our rain harvesting bin. What we're going to do is use this wood, this pallet off-cut wood, and I'm going to create a mini pallet with the wood to raise the bin, to keep it off the floor, and also allow for easy access to the tap that we're going to install later. So what I'm going to do is cut the wood to size. I'm happy with the 50 centimeter, 500 millimeter measurement. All our wood pieces are cut to size. Now we can assemble the base. We just need to create a base that's sturdy and gives a bit of height. So what I'm doing is I'm making a square mini pallet and just using the wood here. So this is what the base will look like and I'm happy with the height. It just gives it enough of a raise. So take it off like this. And what I'm gonna do is drive in the cut wood screws and take note of where I'm putting them so I don't get confused when I'm drilling the other pieces of wood on top of it. Okay, so the first layer of our base is done. Now I'm gonna take this extra thick wood piece over here and place it in the same fashion. But now because of the extra thickness, I'm gonna use really long wood screws and remember, I put the first wood screw over here, so the second one will go there as to not get in the way. Our base is now complete. We can move on to the rain harvesting bin. So what we're going to do is flip the lid over because this is the clever part of our DIY project. This allows for the water and the rain to gather here and then we're going to drill drainage holes right here down the center because that will allow the water to collect in our tank. Okay, that was easy enough. So our lid is done. We can put this here. Now it's time to insert the tap by drilling a hole at the bottom of our bin. Wow, that was easy enough, so now it's time to install our tap. I've put a rubber washer here on the tap, and then there's a back nut for the inside of the tank on the other side to secure it, and another washer. What I'm going to do as well is use a little bit of silicone just to go around the edges and make sure that it's watertight so there's no water leakage. Our tap is now inserted and while the silicone dries, let's go back to our lid because we're not quite finished with it. So we've got these awesome drainage holes drilled in the lid, but what you have to keep in mind is the water that collects in here will be stagnant and mosquitoes and bugs love that. So we've got to keep them out even though the rainwater is just used for the garden. So to keep those pesky insects out, I bought an insect net and what I'm going to do is cut the insect net to size and then stick it down with some waterproof duct tape. Okay, so the insect net is secure and there are no gaps and we made sure of that with the duct tape. Next step is to make sure that the lid doesn't blow away in the wind. What's great about this container is it has these nifty handles and it works even though we flip the lid. There's a bit of give, but don't worry about that. It's not gonna blow away in the wind. 
you don't have a container with these handles, make use of some bungee cord. They're great to hook on either side of the container and you can hook it to the wooden base. So let's go find a spot for it in the garden and wait for the rain.